Hi, this is Brian Wicklin with Garfinkel Schwartz. I'm coming to you from the Titusville, Florida office on the Space Coast of Florida today. We also have offices in Maitland, Florida, which is a suburb of Orlando. However, we do travel wherever you are all across the country uh, because this is a federal, these, these types of issues are federal in nature and they apply to o overseas civilians that get injured. Today, I'm, I'm t I'd like to talk to those people that already know what the Defense Base Act is they're already under the Defense Base Act and they're getting benefits from the insurance company or the employer under the Defense Base Act for their injuries. And these people, in my, in my opinion, are rather rare, but they're being treated correctly under the law uh, by the carrier or the company, meaning that they are paying for your medical expenses, they're paying for your time off of work in the appropriate manner, and everything seems to be going very smoothly for you. The problem is that sometime down the road, no matter when that may be, it could be years from now, it could be months from now, there's gonna, the insurance company or the, care, or, the, or the company are gonna find a way to cut you off. And it happens time and time and time again. All they have to find is any shrivel of evidence or any type of something in writing from a medical provider that will enable them to make, even if it's a frivolous argument, to make any type of argument to cut you off. When I say cut you off, I don't mean that they actually notify you and give you advance notice. And No, you just go to your mailbox one day and your check doesn't, isn't there. And then you receive something from the Department of Labor showing that they're now cutting all of your benefits off and, you're, and that, that's a final compensation that you got on your last check. What that happens to families is atrocious. Could you imagine you know, thinking you're going to get a check every other week for a certain amount that you've gotten for the last year while you've been cooped up in your house, injured, not, not able to work, and all of a sudden out of nowhere, you just, you just, hey, well, maybe they just forgot. No, 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 they, they didn't forget. They got an independent medical examiner or a labor market survey person, someone that says, hey, this person can work all of a sudden, or hey, this person doesn't need this medical benefit anymore. Uh, I think they should be fine. And the problem is when they cut you off, the determination of the cutoff is most normally when you're being treated correctly, supposedly, um, determined by an insurance adjuster. Now, I'm not a doctor, but certainly they're not doctors either. And they're making a decision on your lifestyle and your livelihood as to when you should be cut off and when you should remain getting paid. They also make decisions, obviously they base it on medical reviews and things on their side that they have. Uh, to determine, oh, we, you don't need the surgery that's been recommended. You don't need this medication for your PTSD. That's just nonsense. You don't need that. Well, could you imagine having severe PTSD, taking all types of different um, severe medications, and then all of a sudden just being cut off? I mean, that happens. It, it has, has happened to, to my colleagues and my friends and my clients. It's happened. And it's a sad state of affairs, but that's what happens sooner or later during your claim. It could happen seven years later. I've, I've had clients that have been treated fairly, of course, hoping that I have something to do with that. But then all of a sudden, after seven, eight years, they, uh, they, get, a, they get an independent medical exam from a doctor that never even s has seen my clients. They're called peer reviews. They review records and they say, hey, uh, no problem. This person should be up and running by now. It's been too long. Boom, you're cut off with no fair notice, no warning. What I'm telling you is, it doesn't hurt you, and it only helps you to get an attorney right off the bat, even for you people that I'm talking about that feel you're being treated fairly, because sooner or later, I guarantee that you will not be treated fairly, and the value of your claim will be diminished as much as possible by the insurance company or the company you work for. Thank you for listening. I'm always here to help. I'm Brian Wicklin signing off with Garfinkel Schwartz in the Titusville, Florida office. Thank you very much for your time.